Hello everyone. This is a simple installation guide for the Sparklink hub. Please make sure that all of the inverters are installed and connected to the PV panels before beginning this procedure. Once the inverters have been connected to the PV panels, you should see the Zigbee communication LED on the inverter blinking red and amber. Once you see the Zigbee communication LED blinking red and amber, follow the next steps. With the Q2000 microinverters, you should have received a Sparklink installation kit. Inside this installation kit, you will find one Sparklink installation guide, one Sparklink, one antenna, one power adapter, and one ethernet cable. The next step after unpacking the kit would be to take off the protective covering from the antenna screw. After taking off the covering from the antenna screw, tighten the antenna that came along in the kit onto the screw. Once that is done, please choose whether you want to use a Wi-Fi network or an ethernet network to connect your Sparklink to the internet. If you wish to choose the ethernet network, plug in the ethernet cable that came in the kit to the ethernet port of the Sparklink. If you choose to use a certain Wi-Fi network, please make sure that that Wi-Fi network is available prior to plugging in the Sparklink power adapter. Once the Wi-Fi network is available, plug in the power adapter. Out of the four LEDs on the Sparklink, three LEDs should be solid blue. When you see the third LED right next to the three bars glowing solid blue, it indicates that the Sparklink hub has created a Sparklink network. Once the third LED has a solid blue light, you should see the Sparklink network in your Wi-Fi network list. For the network security key of the Sparklink Wi-Fi network, please type in Sparklink space 80211. Click on next. After that, you should see the message, no internet. Once the Sparklink network has connected to your smart device, open any browser and type in the following IP address, 192.168.111.1 into the address bar. If you're using a wired ethernet connection to connect your Sparklink to the internet, Select Check for New Update option. It will ensure that your Sparklink is updated to the latest version. If you're using the Wi-Fi network to connect the Sparklink to the internet, the Sparklink will automatically update once every day. After this, click on Sparklink Wizard India. Next up, you'll be asked to fill in the information of the installer and the customer using the Spark Q2000 micro inverter. Once you fill in these details, click on Next Step Inverter Configuration. On this page, you can automatically scan all the inverters within the range of Sparklink by simply clicking on the Scan button. The scanning procedure usually takes a minute or two. You should see all the serial numbers of the inverters installed on your site. Please ensure that the signal strength is of good quality. Once you do that, click on next. So once you have gone on to the dashboard, take your mouse to the top left corner and click on the drop down menu. In the drop down menu, click on settings. On this page, 
Take your cursor on top of network settings and click it. Here you will see a drop down menu known as detected networks. Click on this option and connect to your Wi Fi network. Click on show password to confirm whether you have entered the correct password. Next step is to click on test wireless setting. This test will take about one minute to finish. Once you see the following message, open your Wi-Fi networks, refresh, you see the Sparklink network, you'll see the following message, test successful. After this, click on the apply network settings. Now, the system will ask you to connect back to your home wireless network. Go to the Wi-Fi wi settings again. Click to the home wireless network. After connecting your Wi-Fi back to the home network, you will see the following message. Simply click go to the dashboard and now your Sparklink is connected to the internet.